yes, uh, Google it. Censorship. Like, they are evil. They're, they're, don't, Google don't be evil. evil. Yeah. They're, 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 they're the projection of the left, like yeah. the typical leftist projection. Yeah. Don't be evil yeah. while being also... evil. Hi everyone, I'm here with David Hiscox, uh, the founding editor of, of XYZ, the, an online newspaper. Um, nice to meet you, uh, welcome to, well, should I say nice to meet you, but I have met you before. Yeah. So thanks for twice. coming down and having a, having, having a chat. So You're welcome, thanks for having me. Yeah, mate. no worries. So we'll start off, um, big announcement this week for XYZ, you've started the Patreon. Yeah, um, it's and huge. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, big it's a, start It's a there. really big deal. Yeah, it's, it's excellent. I mean, I've already pledged, so I hope you have as well. I've pledged. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I think it's a good idea. I'm surprised it took so long, but... Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, we took a while to get there, but I'm glad we got there eventually. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm glad that we've taken our time to explore quite a range of issues uh, before we set up a Patreon. Yeah. So that if people want to support the XYZ, they know what they're getting into. Basically... Um, we are really committed to free speech. Like, there's the idea of saying, like, if you believe in free speech, but only for, like, a certain range of views, then, like, that's not really free speech. Correct. That isn't free speech. Yeah. You don't believe in free speech unless you believe in the the rights of, of people uh, to say things that you don't like. It's funny, I was going to get onto this a bit later, but we can start it now. Um, I've been finding... It's, it's actually quite annoying lately. I've been finding myself having to defend Nazis... <laughs> quite quite regularly and I don't like doing this but I feel like if you believe in free speech then that means you believe in the right of everyone to have a view whether their views are uh, as bad as national socialism or as good as whatever views you think are, are good well it's the big cutoff yeah in free speech in our society and it's interesting because we put up stuff which people might interpret as that but they're not Nazis. We don't have Nazis. Yeah. Um, and we're not advocating anything like that. But uh, we've got a number of guys who discuss issues which are really... Well, they're very compelling and they're very confrontational. Um, I don't always agree with stuff. I always don't like stuff. But to me, that's the whole point of free speech. It's like, well, okay, put it up there. You either defend it or you knock it down. Let just people just go for it. Go nuts. Well, that's um, it. That's yeah. it. And so, um, yeah, with the Patreon, it's like, well, you know, this is what it's about. You know that you're going to get stuff which is extremely controversial from time to time. Um, but, like, as well as having free speech to put up there, you have the free speech to knock it down and just say why you think it's abhorrent and all that sort of stuff. Before. Exactly. There is com yeah. There's comments there, and if you don't like the idea, you can write another article that, to explain why you think it's a bad idea. Yeah. Or what I've started doing lately, as a few, the people who have been watching know I've been doing a lot of videos um, just, I do like writing the articles, the articles can, I can pump an article out a lot quicker, but I find that, um, I, I find that making a video, it's just, you put a little bit of extra work into it and it's a little bit, it's more enjoyable. And I feel like a lot of people, especially on the, the right side of politics, on the conservative classical liberal side these days, especially the younger generation tend to be more on, in the video area. So I think that's a space that. Um, that I'd really like to get into, as, along with the... I'll still continue to write articles as well when I get the time. Um, but, you know, for me, like, putting a video up to counter uh, an article that I've read or counter another video, mm -hmm. it's a lot more powerful than just writing an article or even writing a comment. As fun as writing comments, mm -hmm. um, trashing, people are, trashing people's views is, it's a lot more productive to actually sit, to take the time and to go through... The points and speak them clearly and, and, and actually articulate it in words so that people can hear your, your, your views as well. Mm. I think it's, it's a medium which really cuts across. Um, it's something myself and Moses and Connor are still working on in terms of really sort of honing our craft in terms of the podcasts. Yep. Um, I'm really loving the stuff that you're putting out. Like you're mm. talking about a range of issues and that sort of stuff. Like yep. you've got the local news stories and you've got sort of more that meta stuff. Um, I love that art. The, the video that you've done about um, uh, why people cheat and all that sort oh, of stuff. Oh, the latest one, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're, they're good fun to make. Like yeah. They take a long time, but I do... You know, I, I, made, I just emailed you another video that I made before. We can talk yeah, about it a little later. Yeah, yeah. Um, you wouldn't have got it. It's uh, someone sent me a... Uh, they, they sent me a... They commented on one of my videos yesterday saying I should do a story about this, and I read it. 
and it's about a uh, 190 centimeter, 100 kilo transgender woman uh, is, is basically going to get drafted into the AFL. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that was basically my reaction. Like, well, uh, I won't ruin it, but yeah, watch the video. It is up there now. Yeah. Um, but yeah. it's uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, back to the point there. Yeah. Um, videos are the medium which uh, a lot of people are watching now. Yeah. Um, I've spent hours and hours watching Stefan Molyneux videos, yeah, Bill same. Little, Black Pigeon Speak, uh, Vertigo Politics is a really good um, yep. uh, uh, channel at the moment yeah. as well. And they really get across ideas and they get them across uh, really just, uh, they go straight to the heart mm. um, of things. And it's something that you can have on while you're cooking or while you're yes. working out or... Uh, while you're doing piano practice or something <laughs> like that, you know, you practice pedal on, you just go, okay, yeah, okay. Mm. yeah. Um, so, um, it, it's, it, it's the way forward. So like, um, I like the fact like, you know, we have XYZ sort of like a newspaper and we're starting up XYZ radio yeah. and I like the idea of having XYZ television as well. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, it all, you know, one step at a time, mm -hmm. I, I think especially, uh, just from what I can gather with YouTube, I mean, unless you're getting unless you have one video that just goes totally viral, a lot of it is a big grind. So yes, one, one video, time. one video, one video, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know, yet yeah, one more person interested and then one more person interested. And it's sort of, mm -hmm. I got this from Stefan Molyneux actually, it's it's exponential. So, yes. you know, the first couple of years, it's slow work and then mm -hmm. eventually you sort of hit a critical mass. And, yes. you know, depending, you know, that critical mass could come in, six months or it could come in six years and you've just, you know, you keep grinding away and eventually once you reach it, mm. everything really takes off. Yeah. I'm a big believer in persistence pays yep. off. And with iTunes, there's the long tail of like how like, um, a, a number of songs have like millions of downloads and then mm. there's like millions of songs with one download and <laughs> yeah, that's it. Out of themselves. Yeah. Um, so it, you just keep at it and you keep building and honing, keep building your body of work and keep honing your craft and yeah. it comes together. It's interesting on the XYZ, like we've had a number of boosts, whether it's from, um, we had a recommendation from Andrew Bolt um, yeah. last year and then we've had two huge articles, like we've had yeah. an article on um, Pizzagate by Moses yes. Apostatarticus and another one by Moses Apostatarticus on um, why Malaysian ministers are disappearing. Oh yeah, um, yeah. Well, yeah. I didn't they, read that one. They both had tens of thousands of views, and we had mm. big hits. And so what we find is that, um, you know, like there's there's always a surge, mm. but uh, if it's one article, it's not sustainable. So what we're working on at the moment is basically just building that base, like person by person at a time, and it's mm. it's going like that, which is great. Well, yeah, that's yeah. it. You build the, that body of the work, mm. and you know, you you put your your videos up on YouTube. You put you know you put your podcasts up on SoundCloud, and your articles up on the website, and mm. yeah. I mean, just I was going to ask you, so you can see a definite positive upward trajectory in terms yes. of traction. Yes. Yeah. Which is why I guess the Patreon is such a good idea because it just it really compounds that and yeah. it allows you to it allows you to you know reinvest and 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 really build the site. Well, that's the thing. It's um at the moment like um I have people basically sending me their work for free. Yeah. And I feel like it's my responsibility to provide them a bigger and bigger audience. Mm. So with a Patreon, we can use that to build mm. that audience for the people who um, put work in. I do. I do like the idea of a of a crowdfunding uh, system. I mean, mm. you see a lot of the newspapers are trying to go with subscription based models. Which look, I, I honestly I don't think that a full subscription based model is the way to go. No. If you are going to get, I mean, you, you can have it as an option, but if you are going to have some sort of pay pay to, to view, mm. it should be more of a pay per click kind of thing in that, uh, you know, you pay 10 cents and you can read an article. So what the reason I, I, I definitely have seen value in this in that I'll, I'll hear of articles that have maybe been written in the Australian or the Herald Sun or wherever. Mm. And I want to read the article, but because it's behind a paywall, I can't. And the only way to get it is by paying twenty eight dollars a month, and it's like I don't want to pay twenty eight dollars a month. Mm -hmm. I want to pay. I'm I'm happy to even pay a little bit extra just to get the pay, just to get that click, and just to you know because I really want to read this article, this specific article. Mm. You know, I'm happy to pay twenty cents, thirty cents, or whatever it is, yeah, right. just yeah. to just to read one article, just to read it, and then you know that's thirty cents, twenty cents. You know, that's given me 
10 minutes of entertainment, maybe it's an idea for another video, maybe it's an idea for a counter article or whatever, but I think I think that's the model for, for the bigger guys. I don't know if, I like, think crowdfunding sort of worked with smaller, smaller yeah. places well, like... Subscriptions work for um, newspapers which are already established. Yeah. Um, so for the Australian, the people who are wanting to read the Australian read it for the quality. Yeah. Um, that's why I subscribe uh, to the Australian. Mm. Um, uh, for the Herald Sun, I've subscribed to that just because it's good to get in there. Um, mm. I think about how I used to spend money on newspapers before the yeah. internet, and I reckon I would have spent about thirty dollars a week or more. Sorry, a month or more mm. on them anyway. So yeah. um, I figure I'm spending a similar amount of money to what I would anyway, and it basically means that I have access to Andrew Bolt's stuff as yeah. well, which is handy. Yes. Um, the Guardian, they. Um, uh, are working sort of more on an ideological thing like um mm. they're making uh, i guess they're a bit like us really like <laughs> they they realize that the type of people who read the guardian are people who are going to be invested in that kind of news yeah. and that kind of thinking and so they're appealing to their readers to support them basically i'd uh, i'd be reluctant to compare xyz to the guardian i see what you mean but it's like it's, yeah that, it's that's not a good point. quite we, i mean we, we've, we've done a whole podcast <laughs> yeah. on why um say people on the right and not the equivalent of SJWs yeah. on the left. Oh, no, um, but um, I, I guess it just uh, people in The Guardian are ideologically uh, invested in that news. Yeah, that's and it. And so um, they're basically sort of appealing to them on that basis. Like mm. with the Australian, it's, you know, <laughs> subscribe mm. and you can access our stuff. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> like, <okay. laughs> yeah, so anyway, I mean... Yeah, but the, for us, well, sorry, uh, yeah. for us it's, it's a little bit different. Like, you know, like we just want to put everything up there and we yeah. just want to get the material out there. And so it's, mm. what we're saying is if you want to support us, fantastic. Yep. Give us money, we'll use it to grow our business. I really think it's the model for a lot of independent guys. For, for I think it is the model for for new independent media like that is mm. separate from the the mainstream big guys and you see a lot of guys on YouTube like Patreon's all over YouTube mm. um, and that these independent creators you know they get a few dollars a month from here a few dollars a month there from, from various creators and you know they, they might make you, you can see on Patreon like how many how much money a lot of them are getting and you know mm. they're getting three four thousand dollars a month mm. for mm. a lot of guys in you know, the hundred thousand two hundred thousand followers wow. Which is, I mean, it's not, it's not retire and move to, to the Cayman Islands kind of money, but it's that like... That kind of money adds up. Yeah. Um, even where we are now, we're basically on $100 a month. Yeah. After having the Patreon up for less than a week. That's it. Um, so over the course of a year, that's um, $1,200. Yeah. So at the moment, we have a yearly advertising budget of $1,200, which is amazing. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So that's why I look mm. at it. It's, it all builds up and it all just builds up. Uh, mm. bit by bit by bit. That's it. Uh, th that's exactly right. And there are other there are other modes of uh, of revenue as well. Like, I mean, even direct advertising, the banner space. Um, we're there. Like, if people want to advertise on the X Y Z, if you think your business will benefit from advertising on the X Y Z, we have banner space for sale. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you said that you've gone away from AdSense as well, which I think is a, a very good idea, given yeah. the, the Google adpocalypse and the Google's Google's uh, current. In, well, I can't think of the word. The current attitude towards free speech and, and yeah, uh, well, Google are evil. censorship. Like, they are evil. They're, they're, don't, don't be evil. evil. Yeah. They're, they're, they're the projection of the left, like yeah. the typical leftist projection. Yeah. Don't be evil. Yeah. While they're being also, evil, they're also not secure. Like um, yeah. people would have seen on our site, we had a few mm. security issues, and we yeah. had to really deal with them. Mm. The impression I get is that's not uncommon. Yeah. Um, and so we're like, well, you know, you're being evil, and it's not as secure as you first said it was. Yep. Let's do it ourselves. Well, I. I made a video about it a few weeks ago. I am 100% off Google. I still use, obviously, YouTube because it's the biggest platform and there's no way around it. I do. I am up so trying to get channels going on BitChute. If you haven't heard of this one, this is a really... It, it, they're totally committed to free speech. Um, it's almost uncensorable in the way that they, they upload it. I'm not up on the, on the technical aspect of it, uh, but I think that that is potentially another option just given the, that it's a... Um, and innovate. And from what I can tell, it's a bit of a, they're doing it slightly different, so it's slightly innovative in the way that they the videos are shared and they keep their costs down, so they're probably a little bit easier to make. Uh, it'll be easier for them to make money over the long run. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I am still using YouTube, unfortunately. Well, I mean, it's a great it, YouTube is great. It's just too bad it's owned by Google, uh, and uh, I don't use Google as a search engine at all. 
Um, I use Gmail because it's a YouTube account and I have to for university. Um, but you know, I, I've, I don't use Gmail as, as my primary email address at all. I've been making a point of going to mm. DuckDuckGo or to yep. Bing. Um, yep. It's like my instinct when I'm online is to just go Google and then occasionally mm. I catch myself and like mm. I'm gradually just building the habit of going to other places. Yep. And apparently DuckDuckGo are starting to receive... Like, they're, they're, DuckDuckGo is quite good. Another yeah. one I found but they're, is they're, their, numbers, their numbers are going up. Yeah, I, yeah. I heard that as well. Yeah, they're yeah. going up quite a lot, especially yeah. after... After Google's um, was evil, was evil. <laughs> they revealed themselves to be like. I wonder if the CEO is just sitting there with their cat, going, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> just, "Yes, we are going to censor it." But it's funny. That's exactly how it is. And I'm it's pretty sure we have footage. We yeah. actually have XYZ footage. Oh, <laughs> which, we're gonna, yeah, we're going to the evil them. CEO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has, <laughs> yes, it's, it's not a cat. Um, it's it's a hamster. A ha oh, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a feminist's hair. <laughs> Just like the green hair. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll pat this wig. A green hamster. <laughs> um, yeah, I was going to say Quant is another one that's really good. I found okay. it's excellent. It's Q W A N T. So they um, they don't save any search history. They're like DuckDuckGo. What do you find in the quality of the search engine? Good, yeah. excellent. I found DuckDuck DuckDuckGo is fantastic for any kind of research. So yep. if you want to research a topic, they're great. You get. A lot of answers on the first page and they're do they give you good news like up-to-date news in terms of news like it's not i haven't really had a look at it in terms of the news but quant does do a news okay. section so you do right. you search for something in quant and they have a whole section for news quant's a little bit more like you have a look at it it's a lot more there's more results that you get so you get a column mm. for web results news results and then there's another one i come like there might be images in the other one i can't actually remember what the third one is but it's, yeah web news and one other Okay. Yes, yeah, it's an interesting, interesting conversation that we're having because um, people are like, "Oh, you can't create a new internet," mm. but it's like um, alternatives to all the things that we have already exist. Like there's yeah. alternative, there are alternatives to Facebook. There's yes. there's Minds. There are alternatives bit to YouTube being developed yeah. and alternatives to Google being developed. Yeah. Um, and I think it's just a matter of people sort of working their way over to mm. those. And you know, we talk about a critical mass, like it. Yeah, but once that builds up, it could happen. Like it there's, could, there's it could the happen. Old, there's the old joke about um, the uh, the teacher who's teaching in a rural environment. Yeah. Um, he's doing he's teaching maths, and he you know tries to do one of those questions. If you've got twenty sheep in the paddock and one goes through a hole in the fence, how many are left? And the kid um, puts his hand up and says none. <laughs> and the kind of, he's like, what? One, once one sheep goes through, they're, they're all. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good day. Yeah, that's yeah. a really good one. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I, I think there's that critical mass. Like once yeah. it happens, like people, it'll just start to go. And I think the great thing about that was the first part of our discussion. Next up, we continue our discussion on YouTube and the direction of Google as well as the internet, and we delve into the gay marriage debate. Please subscribe for more, and don't forget to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.